Hello from Strasbourg. Well, it was another disappointing exit for England at Euro 2016. Unfortunately, that came on the back of the Leave vote in the referendum. The result has left many in the UK not just bitterly disappointed, but a divided nation too. Labour colleagues and I still continue to fight for your interests and seeking EU action on tackling corporate tax avoidance, helping SMEs get better access to funding through simpler prospectuses and saving our steel sector. But I'm disappointed too, especially for the millions of young people in our country, majority of whom voted to remain in the EU. If only many others had voted, we might have had a different outcome. Now, they won't enjoy the benefits that our EU membership brought in the future, like the Erasmus programme, enabling students in higher education to do an exchange in, in another country, or Erasmus Plus, which provides opportunities for young people to work, volunteer, do an apprenticeship, or get involved in grassroots sport abroad. The referendum result places all of this and much more in jeopardy. Here, in the European Parliament, Brexit is the only topic of conversation. What will the future of EU-UK relationship look like? I often get asked. While the Leave side try to figure that out, what we have seen is the pound collapse to a 31-year low against the dollar and a fall against the euro. So holidays have just got more expensive. The UK lost its last remaining AAA credit rating. Three trillion dollars wiped off the global stock market in two days after June the 23rd. In addition, three major property funds have been suspended following a surge in investors wanting to pull money out of the UK market. The worst thing about this is that the warnings were there. The governor of the Bank of England and a whole host of experts pointed out the economic risk but our concerns were dismissed as scaremongering. Well, project fear is now project fact, but still the levers are in denial. Sadly, Britain seems to have lost its tolerance and harmony too. There's been a sharp rise in the racist incidents, which I utterly condemn. I'd like to take the opportunity to praise the series of unity events held in London and Birmingham and echo Sadiq Khan's call for understanding and calm in our communities. We're now in a period of huge political uncertainty. While the pound crashes and the investors panic, the promises of the Leave campaign have been unravelling. It turns out that the promise 350 million a week for the NHS was a big con. Well, that's a surprise. Meanwhile, Messrs Farage and Johnson have headed for their sun lounges leaving others to extinguish the fire they started. Nobody had a plan. The aftershocks continue, politically, monetarily and economically. So tighten your seatbelts while we go through these turbulent times. So finally, amidst all the political uncertainty, my message to you is that as long as the UK is a member of the EU, I will continue my work to represent the West Midlands striving with European partners to tackle issues that affect us all. Hope you have a good summer and see you on the other side, hopefully in calmer waters. Goodbye.